The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI, has urged the National Assembly to quickly pass the Petroleum Industry Bill. LCCI President Toki Magagunje stated this during its first quarterly press conference of 2021. Adebanke Oduni has more on this. Toki Magbogunje says she hopes for better economic performance due to the reduced number of active COVID-19 cases while outlining measures that could enhance growth in the next quarter. We anticipate further improvement in quarterly output performance following the commencement of the vaccination exercise and the significant moderation in COVID-19 infection numbers in the first quarter. With the oil sector in deep contraction due to suppressed production, fragile recovery in global oil demand, regulatory and investment climate issues, we expect the non-oil sector to drive growth in the year 2021. One, governments at national and subnational levels need to intensify commitment towards creating a supportive and conducive investment environment to facilitate private sector involvement in the economic recovery process. Also, the approval of a sum of $1.5 billion for the rehabilitation of the Port Harcourt refinery takes center stage as they believe it is not economically viable. While we appreciate government's resolve in re revamping these facilities, we do not consider the approval as economically and fiscally expedient given the fact that billions of dollars have already been expended on turnaround maintenance over the years with no tangible results. To other economic matters, insecurity and the high cost of logistics are named as factors causing inflation in food prices. We must address the issue of security so that the farmers can go back to their farm and increase output. If output increases, inflation will moderate. The second factor uh, that was also highlighted in this address was the factor of the cost of logistics. That's the transportation cost. The LCCI notes that good economic policies and regulations must be fostered to ensure a conducive business environment for both foreign and local businesses. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Adebanke Odunui. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.